Attention outlet shoppers. Right now, save 50 to 70% off everything for the family at Gap Factory Stores and Online. With shorts from $14.99 and tees from $6.99. And save 50 to 70% off everything at Banana Republic Factory Stores and Online. With an extra 50% off clearance and dresses for women starting at $19.99. Hurry! Search our store locator for your nearest Gap Factory and Banana Republic Factory Store or shop us online. You are tuning in to Goldilocks Productions' presentation of a Magical Journey show with Reverend Brian Rawls. Brian is a certified psychic medium, certified fairyologist and realm reader, light language channel, extraterrestrial channel, universal channel, certified angelic communicator and facilitator, light code and star chi code activator. Certified Reiki Master Teacher, Certified Esoteric Energetic Acupuncturist, a Certified Sacred Activations Mastering Me Practitioner, a Multi-Dimensional Galactic Shaman, and a Certified Witchcraft Ceremonial Magical Practitioner. Call in now to reserve your spot on the switchboard. The call-in number is 657-383-1895. Press 1 to take you out of listen mode only. Enjoy this magical and healing show. Good evening, everyone, and this is your host, Reverend Brian Rawls with The Magical Journey. Um, I am so happy to be here this evening with you all. It is May 24th of 2017, and we have uh, a show of many readings uh, that we are going to do this evening. So, you know how we normally... uh, Uh, do the Magical Journey show, we're going to open up the evening with a little bit of light language to kind of ground us all out, and then we will begin by taking our phone callers. So um, I want to uh, just make a couple of announcements um, before we uh, pull in the light language to ground us out. Uh, The um, announcements uh, are as um, there will be new products uh, getting ready to go in the store here very soon, like within uh, the next week. Also, um, I will be having um, uh, I will be having with, when a person uh, participates or signs up for the new moon or full moon transmissions within the month of. Um, within the month of June or July, I'm, uh, I'm quoting and unquoting that. Um, not exactly sure just yet. Just trying to make sure everything's uh, um, announced. Uh, but we will be, uh, or I will be making, uh, or will be, uh, will be offering uh, new moon um, baskets or boxes and full moon. Uh, boxes or baskets um, available uh, with upon request with the full moon or new moon transmission. And um, those uh, baskets are limited, um, so uh, you will need to request them at the time of purchase within the month of uh, June um, or when I uh, tell you that they will be available. Um, but let's go ahead and um, channel some uh, light language to kind of uh, ground us out for the evening. And then we'll go directly to our phone calls. So uh, just kind of take a deep breath in, and we are going to ground y'all out. Take a deep breath in and just listen to my voice. Don't you reiki makatais over sepul to una. Rike demo oroko tu una stele esento okomakiana. 
אינו או קופותי אן ארשא דאסאוטו אורא קמאייני, פרומו קוסנטו אורא סיאט, נאזנדו אורא איט אן ארא, דאזנדו אורא קיומא. And take some deep breaths in and bring that energy up into your root chakra, your sacral, your solar plexus, your heart, your throat, your third eye. Down into your well of dreams at the back of the head. Up and out the crown chakra. Doubling back into the fourth eye where your head was soft when you were a baby. Beaming down into the pineal gland. All the way down the shishama. Activating the eight cell blue crack at the perineum. Take a deep breath in. Okay, and just kind of breathe with that energy. And just allow for the energy to flow. Okay, so we are going to go directly to our phone callers. Um, For those that are um, wanting to ask a question and have not called in uh, yet, um, please do so um, before the lines get filled up. Uh, the area code is 657-383-1895. Again, that is 657-383-1895. And our first phone caller uh, is with the area code 310. Area code 310, first name and question, please. Hi, this is Janet. Hey, Hey, Janet. Um, Hey, Janet, how are you? I'm well. Um, I wanted to see if you saw a relationship coming my way. Okay, all right. And let's see what the guides say. Take some deep breaths in for me. Okay, so um, is there any um, um, anybody that is showing interest or uh, are you showing interest in them? There's someone that I'm kind of looking at differently, but I just don't know. I don't even know know if they're they're even thinking that. All right. Well, we haven't really started talking. It's just someone that keeps popping up. It's like, why does this person keep popping up? Okay, so, um, hmm. you wouldn't have another name, would you? I do. Okay. Ante? Ante? Uh, Ante? Okay. Uh Um, All right, so what I'm seeing here with uh, Ante is that uh, it feels to me like uh, it's somewhat of a soulmate relationship, which I do know that uh, with soulmate relationships, it um, means that, um, uh, well, it basically means that um, with it being a soulmate relationship that you two have lived past lives together, and uh, also that there is some particular um, some particular type of energy that you two uh, that you two have that um, kind of keeps on allowing for you two to uh, keep running in and to each uh, or running into each other, uh, activating mm-hmm. that uh, that particular energy for you each time that I, that uh, Ante comes into your particular space. Now, um, do you understand that uh, there is there is a little bit of a 
there's there's definitely attraction uh, or attraction chemistry type energy uh, going on between the two of you. Now, the thing is, I am not exactly sure of the outcome if it's going to pop in as a relationship. Now, uh, this could most definitely pop in as a friend. Uh, a friend. Um, uh, y'all are going to uh, definitely need to um, uh, need to allow this uh, this relationship to be cultivated if you two want this to go anywhere. Um, now, do know that um, that if this is uh, that if this is going to go anywhere, this is going to start showing um, potential right around. Uh, I'm hearing. Well, I'm being shown seven and uh, or seven or eight, so that shows me July or August. All right, so um, I would tell you most definitely, uh, see if I'll take you from popping up in your space. If you keep from popping up in your uh, space, um, make the first uh, or make the first move or make the first wave. Uh, ag- acknowledge that uh, that Ante is there. All right, and. Uh, and then uh, basically things should fall into place uh, if um, this Ante is going to uh, uh, reactivate this particular energy within your space again. Um, I do feel as if uh, I do feel as if um, there is a very um, very very good chance that um, that whenever you do happen to um uh to whether you weigh that uh ante or uh just suddenly speak to ante that ante is going to definitely uh definitely either speak back or speak to you okay so do know that there is going to be a conversation that is exchanged here um so and do know that that's coming up very soon and I'm, uh, yeah. seeing within, I'm seeing within 14 days that yeah. conversation coming up. Uh, he ended up popping up because he's someone I need to speak to in regards to finding help for my mother's care. And ah. he is the same situation. So he keep popping up. And then I had to, you know, send him a message saying, hey, I, 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 I need your help. I, need, I have questions. I need to start with my mother's care. We haven't mm-hmm. spoken yet, but it's like, it just is, I don't know, there's just some weird energy there. You two know, you two know each other from uh, past lives, and y'all are familiar with one another. That energy is familiar, okay? So okay, that's, that's what one, I'm feeling. That's one that is kind of picking, uh, uh, that's kind of um, ringing the bell for you. Okay, but once yeah. you two start conversating, more things are going to line up to where um, you basically understand it a little more. Okay. Okay. Um, because this is uh, this is something significant for you to uh, um, for uh, for him to uh, pop in. Um, up in ever so uh ever so much uh at different times um for you um that right there that right there is a sign and it's basically allowing for you to uh know that you're on the right path and to kind of continue moving forward okay right. well day by day step by step we'll see where things go and yes most definitely and keep me posted all right thank you very much You're very welcome, Janet, and you have a wonderful evening. You too. Thank you so much. Okay, so, uh, um, Janet, if I can uh, assist you with anything else, please please go to my website at www.amagicaljourney.com, or you can also call the office at 586-659-9620. Uh, to schedule your more in-depth session. Okay, and we are going to uh, take our next phone caller, and our next phone caller is area code 716. 
Hi, Brian. It's Belinda. Hey, it's Belinda. Bonnie. Uh, or, yes, Belinda. I call you Bonnie. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I knew it started uh, with me. <laughs> hey, that's cool. That's cool. Hey, just burning incense and just enjoying the nice weather with the window open right now. So everything is good. good. Yeah. Hey, I got a question. Um, I always have an infinity um, and a fondness to Venus. Uh huh. Well, can I have a little insight on Venus? Why do I feel so drawn to Venus all the time? Okay. So, um, so Venus. Um, well, Venus is uh, is obviously the um, uh, the first star in the morning and basically uh Venus is um Venus has uh, a particular set of um uh, beings or a race called the Venetian and yes. um and they they're very much a Venus um races are very much a frequency of uh of love similar to planet Earth. And uh, they have a rather um, a rather um, odd, strange energy to them. It's almost uh, it's almost um, very um, almost uh, a loose. Um, well, I guess I'm using that word correctly. It's it's very prominent. All right, it's very prominent, mm-hmm. and you can see it in their face. You can see it in their face that they are Venetian, and uh, and Venetians have very prominent, prominent uh, jaw structure, as well as Mm -hmm. also very prominent, um, uh, I guess you would say jaw and cheekbones. They have those very uh, um, dominant uh, cheekbones and dominant jaw structures. Now, also the Venetians, they, um, they are excellent healers. I mean, like majorly excellent healers. They they work with frequency a lot. And uh, and if I am not mistaken, the affinity between you and Venus is in a particular past life. There was a okay. So what they're telling me here is that. And you have uh you have lived a life on Venus, but it wasn't as um as significant as all of your other starseed uh uh starseed races that you've lived in, uh lived within. Um the only thing that uh is um significant to you with Venus is actually that um, you can see it here on planet Earth, and uh, it strikes a memory every time that um, that the word Venus is spoken to you, and it kind of uh, vibrates or reverberates a um, a frequency in your um, in your cells that allows you to start, uh, or that allows you to remember that lifetime, or remember that particular lifetime. Um, now do know that uh the lifetime on um on Venus is not uh not like I said before, it's not as significant as uh uh as all your other starseed um lineages. Uh so that is the reason why it's not as prominent in your DNA. All right. Um oh. it's just prominent within your energy field. Okay. Um <clears throat> the one thing I would recommend you do, uh, or recommend you uh, do, is basically ask for whatever memories that Venus, uh, um, that Venus or the Venetians uh, carry for you. Whatever memories, uh, go ahead and ask for them to show themselves. As they uh, show themselves, what they are going to do is uh, they are going to basically. Uh, they're going to basically give you a, a, per, a particular perspective on um, on the particular memories that you have. 
and are going to allow you to uh, integrate those particular aspects or that particular aspect of yourself that lived on uh, planet Venus in that particular lifetime. Wow. Okay. You know, you're, spot, you're, so, you're so good and you're so spot on. You're just so excellent. Um, I just, I've been thinking of Venus a lot in the Venetians, and my heart chakra is just blown wide open with Venus now, and I just mm-hmm. feel them coming stronger to me, and I cry. I miss it there for some reason, and I'm really mm-hmm. fond of it. And um, like you said, it's just they're coming to me. I know they are. They're getting closer to me. I can feel it and sense it. And because I guess I'm why you know, I'm more open now. And I'm going to recommend a lady to you. This lady, what? her name is Omnic, okay? Uh, she, uh, she is actually a Venetian that has been, um, that has been, uh, <clears throat> interviewed on Lauren Gailey's show. Her name is Omnec, and it's O-M-N-E-C, Omnec. And Omnec is, uh, she actually has this uh, book or this novel uh, about her lifetime as Omnec. And I guarantee you, if you read it, uh, it will jog some memories up for you as well. Wonderful. I'm going to really look into that because I just like tears come to my eyes now when I think of Venus and really mm-hmm. heart, heart love, love, you know, heart. And uh, yeah, and I'm a Libra, so Venus is my main, I don't know, I'm not too much into astrology but or zodiacs, but um, Libra, that's my main rising sun maybe, Venus. Uh, I think of something like that. Um, that's yeah, in my sign, my Libra sign. So oh yeah, it's, and, uh, it's somewhere within your chart. I do know that. Um, if yeah. uh, if you are uh, are wanting to look that more in depth, I am actually studying some uh, uh, some more information on looking at astrology charts and being able to. Uh, being able to basically uh, chart a person's mm-hmm. past life within a astrology chart using your star seed uh, lineages. So uh, you might want to check that out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I, I am going to get with you. Definitely, definitely. Well, thank you All so right. much. And you that rings the bell. And thank you so much, and have a great week. And uh, you. Yeah, you have a good night. Thank you. Thank you so much, um, Belinda, and you have a wonderful evening. And like I said before, if you are uh, wanting to get a more in-depth session, you know where to find me, or you can call directly to the office at 586-659-9620. Thank you so much. Love you. You're very welcome. Love you, too. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Um, our next uh, phone caller is area code 231. Area code 231. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hey, I'm good. Oh, actually, I'm not so good. Um, <laughs> I've been eating like it's going out of style, and I can't be doing this with June, like, next week. Um, and when I ask what it is, I get that I'm the merging. Destiny. Yes. Okay. All right. So you haven't been uh, able to eat or have an appetite? No, I've been eating, like, way too much. Like, that's uh, all you've I've been eating been... way too much. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, so let's see here. All right, take some deep breaths in, and I'm going to uh, do a small little activation with you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, take deep breaths in. No kura ki no ma kashendo ure tempo koti anai. Romani anura kate estor in mastazo. Rikin e gando ura komakasat. 
jendo ora kanine edelo ora kumakais zende hekeno ora shen imoko da rogunda sende ekeanai romo ki anais zembo okuna rike nedu unamash ri arash en edezo ona kias belo ora kumakian romo shendo ora sen hino ok ora Rog nosh en onamast, zende hekeno o rakyan, zando o rakin e zontu anasht. Hila kura kande hile anur, mason do rakatayin. And deep breath, bring that energy up and through your root chakra, your sacral, your solar plexus. your heart chakra, your throat, your third eye, down into your well of dreams at the back of the head, up and out the crown chakra, doubling back into the fourth eye where your head was soft when you were a baby, beaming down into the pineal gland, all the way down the Shushana. Activating the eight sub blueprint at the perineum. And take deep breaths in. Ooh. I got all warm, like my chest got all warm. Yes. <clears throat> that is the um that's the light codes that are actually beaming down into uh, the eight cell blueprint, activating that um uh dev- or basically activating that uh, ATL blueprint, which is then making me warm. So, good deal. Um, I do want to mention that uh, the influx of energies, um, uh, the eating, the eating is a uh, a form of uh, protection or it's a form of... uh, of protecting one's solar plexus or one's energetic body uh, from taking on dense energies, all right? Uh, because uh, what it does is the uh, the energy has to go through the fat cells of the body, and um, and basically it, it denses energy for you. So uh, the more fat cells that you have on your body or the more... Uh, um, fatty tissue that you have on your body, the more Well, that's not you. cool. We can't be well, doing that. It's not cool. <laughs> but and it's a form of a defense mechanism. And uh, with your energy field, you've got to understand you have a high metabolism. So uh, with you being a uh, star seed, um, mostly nine times out of ten, all star seeds have high metabolism um, mm-hmm. because they burn energy quickly. They uh, raise a lot of frequencies. They're high vibrational. Um, and then you also have your uh, your voluptuous star seeds that are more like your mermaids, your, um, your uh, uh, I guess you would say, your dolphin type people. And then, mm-hmm. uh, I mean... Yeah, you said I was dolphinian too. You said mm-hmm. I was Syrian, Dolphinian, and Arcturian. Yeah. Well, then, mm-hmm. And, and been, uh, uh, don't be surprised if you don't start uh, uh, channeling these codes much more quicker uh, due to the simple fact that, um, uh, well, it, it's all over the Internet, but uh, today... Today, May 24th, is supposed to be more significant than uh, than the 12-21-2012 uh, wow. um, our calendar date was. And what this is is this is the paradigm shift. This is the uh, this is the influx of energy that one receives during a uh, uh, right after a stargate has opened. Once a Stargate uh, has opened, we have an influx of energy for three days. And within those three days, that allows for that paradigm shift to shift even faster for us. 
um, because once we move through that stargate, it takes a little bit for us to get used to the energies that we are feeling and the energies that we are experiencing. So that so is, is that um, what's happening? Is that what's happening? Yes, I'm going through like a stargate? Uh-huh. Earth. Well, okay, you, well uh, we all went through a stargate on the 21st. Okay, I got something crazy to tell you. Um, I've been talking to someone telepathically. I'm not really certain who it is, but every time that I step outside, I literally can hear a ship, a galactic ship, go overhead every time that I step outside. Okay, that might be your dimensional self. All right, you got to understand that um, that we have a... Um, so it's like we a galactic have, sister or something like exactly we have like a, a twin a flame doppelganger <clears throat> or a twin flame or however you want to call it uh we have um those dimensional selves uh say for instance we could have a dimensional self in a different dimension we have a mm-hmm. uh, a dimensional self on a different plane of existence we can have a dimensional self up in a spaceship we can have a dimensional self uh, on another planet, we can have. Well, a do you think that's who it is? On, Am I talking? Well, I think that you're speaking to uh, your either your twin flame or your uh, your soulmate on a ship that uh, that you are uh, that they are currently on or within. And so they're letting me know that's who it is when I go outside because I can literally hear the ship, like I know the sounds yeah, of the ship. Basically. Right? Um, and don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if uh, if that ship don't show itself to you. Oh, I've I've seen them. Yeah, they literally like at nighttime. I can see them flying over overhead, like right mm-hmm. over my head. Well, do you know they get um, they get very close to humans, and with them uh, getting very close to humans, uh, that is. Um, uh, that's the energy of being able to materialize and dematerialize at will. Wow. That's right, awesome. So, that is so cool. Yeah, uh, us starseeds, uh, us starseeds, we ha- are having some very miraculous abilities come online. Uh, so make sure that you keep an eye out. All right. I'll let you know. I'll keep you posted. All right. Thank you, Brian. Thank you All so right. much. You're very welcome, Destiny. And I look Have a forward blessed day, to my dear. speaking with you again. Yes. Yes, me too. Thank you. Blessings. You're welcome, dear. Blessings. Okay, so our next phone caller, and our next phone caller is area code 906. Area code 906. Hello, Brian. Hello. How are you? Um, not too bad. Julie. Hey, Julie. And what can I help you with? Um, in January, my daughter died from cancer, and right before that, we went to New Orleans in November, and um, this black cat would keep coming by. Tried to get into my house a couple of times by pawing on the glass window by my door. If I would approach it, it would run away. And then about two weeks after um, she died in January, the cat, like, brushed against my leg. I was looking down at my phone and didn't see it there, and it meowed at me, and I haven't seen it since. And I just feel kind of lost. I think the cat was there to prepare me for her death. Um, But now Mm -hmm. I don't really know where my life is going. Okay, so um, basically uh, the cat was to uh, prepare you. Um, That is confirmation. Um, Also, uh, I... Okay, so I hear that... um, hmm. All right, so I hear that uh, when uh, when the cat rubbed up against your leg, your daughter was passed, correct? Yes. All right. And uh, the cat meowed at you, and then it ran away. Uh, well, and then you looked down. That was uh, that was your daughter uh, stepping into the cat 
to let you know that she was okay and that she was met by somebody on the other side to make sure that she was saw uh, uh, saw to the other side uh, or she was met by someone uh, over here on this side to make sure that she was crossed over correctly. So uh, do not worry about her spirit still being um, uh, still being kept here on the physical plane. She is she has crossed over and she is uh, in a um, she's in a much better place and uh, and out of agony um, because it feels to me like uh, um, last couple uh, last couple of days of her life. Uh, or last couple uh, weeks of her life weren't too shabby. Okay? And with your life as of right now, um, sweetheart, you are within a, you are within a trans, uh, transformational phase in your life and you are basically, you actually uh, just had a very traumatic experience happen to you, uh, and you're basically trying to pick up uh, pick up the pieces and pick up your life um, um, back where it left off. So uh, I would tell you, give yourself uh, a little bit of credit and give yourself a little bit of a break. Um, because uh, at times it's hard to pick yourself um, back up very quickly, uh, just like that. Even though it's um, been a while, uh, do know that uh, you are, uh, with this transformational phase in your life, there's, there's a bigger perspective being, uh, being shown to me here, and once you begin to give yourself a break and uh and allow for you to quiet the mind back down and uh actually allow for that empty space or that emptiness that you're feeling uh to be filled back up with um i guess you would say with uh joy and excitement again um which is going to take you a little bit for you to get there, but I'm seeing uh, I'm seeing that um, I would say by I would say by September everything should have um, or will uh, smooth itself out, and you will actually see yourself back along a path again like you once were before. Okay, um, this. Uh, you definitely have to give yourself a break, allow for you to finish your uh, your mourning process and your grieving process um, because uh, you're not finished quite yet. Okay, you really need to uh, you really need to allow for this to um, allow for this to kind of release on its own. Don't force it. Re- allow for it to release on its own because there uh you're going to realize that a lot of what is uh what's happening right now um I'm getting a he- uh for some reason I'm getting a heaviness on the chest. Do you uh suffer from uh panic attacks ever since your daughter passed? Um, actually I have anxiety and I do get panic attacks, but I haven't had any since she died. Okay. So, uh, so me having the anxiety or the panic attack was showing me that, uh, that, okay. So, uh, they're showing me with your anxiety or your panic attacks, uh, leaving you. Um, the moment she passed was also uh, basically giving you heads up that your life was about to change. Okay? Because you are actually, um, well, what's getting ready to activate for you is uh, basically your healer 
or your healing ability. Um, because I feel as if you under, uh, you understanding and uh, learning about the grieving process is going to open you to your purpose. Because I I feel as if your uh, I feel as if the grieving process has something to do with your purpose. Thank you. Okay, um, but uh, definitely, um, definitely keep your head up. Definitely keep your head up and uh, and give yourself a break, sweetie. Give yourself a break um, because everything will work itself out. Okay. Yeah, I get fight and flight, and I know I'm looking for a different job because the only reason I was here was for her health care and it, because her doctors were here. So I know that um, you know, I, I'm kind of looking at that perspective, too, and that could be part of that healing process. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And I, I really feel as if you uh, really need to... Um, possibly look into um, maybe some courses in healing and possibly even some mediumship because uh, uh, I'm hearing that um, the healing that you will provide will reside in the message that you give. Okay, thank you. You are very welcome. And... uh, I appreciate you um, allowing me to do this for you, and uh, I am I apologize uh, and send my condolence to you uh, about your daughter. And uh, do know that your daughter is always uh, um, looking down on you and uh, protecting you. Thank you. You're welcome, sweetie. Okay, so um, if any of the uh, callers that are in listening mode that would like to uh, uh, dial in uh, or press the number one to get uh, raise your hand, um, you are more than welcome to do that, and I will answer your question. Um, or if there is any other uh, listeners that are listening through the webcast that would like to call in, uh, you're more than welcome to call in at area code 657-383-1895. Okay. So um, uh, it is a little nasty outside, and... uh, well, and here we got a phone caller. Uh, so let's go ahead and take area code 714. Good afternoon. Hello. How are you doing? Hi. How are you? Hi. This is Jeff. I'm doing good. <laughs> uh, what's going on? <laughs> oh, I'm, going, uh, I'm um, doing well. I'm doing well. All right. Um, I just wondered um, if there's anything that I need to do. Okay, let's see here. All right. Okay, so um, what they are showing me here is... um, Okay, so there is... uh, They're showing me some uh, throat chakra upgrades that are... um, that are currently coming in around... uh, Okay, so they're saying... Um, this is when you need to express your opinion. So well, what is it that you uh, that you are not expressing your opinion about? Um, just not talking about um, spirituality, <clears throat> you know, with people. Okay. Is this with a particular person or a particular um, relationship? Uh, yeah, my fiancé. Your who? Fiancé. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. So, um, all right. So, with the uh, f- uh, fiance, I know we have spoke about this, um, <laughs> but I will tell you that um, uh, <laughs> it seems as if there is um, some sort of a 
it almost feels to me like there was some sort of a uh, a rut that you feel in with, uh, or that you feel that you are in with this relationship. Is that so? Yeah. All right. Now, um, I do feel as if um, this relationship is somewhat toxic, but uh, it's not toxic to the point that uh, is going to um, uh, that is going to keep you from uh, exhaling or evolving in your spirituality uh, because you're pretty much. Uh, um, individual or uh, or independent enough to uh, rely on that. But I want to open up your throat chakra and to allow for you to speak your truth if you um, if you so choose to. Okay. All right, but I will go ahead and tell you. Uh, I okay. will warn you if you have okay. slippery lips or a slippery tongue. Do not blame me. I apologize. <laughs> you apologize. Huh? Yeah, fine. I will go ahead and apologize. And then, <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. It might the last time that I performed this particular um, um, this particular mm-hmm. activation, even though it wasn't as upgraded and um, power charged uh-huh. as uh, as it was, uh, or as this one will be with the uh, Stargate yeah. just passing, yeah. um, okay. I will go ahead and tell you, you just need to be careful, okay? Okay, <laughs> okay. Wow. All right, <laughs> take a deep breath in. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Romi an arokoti anai. Dedo ora mokotoi. Jedo ora keno ora kiat. Den bihanayat unasht. Deli ando horoko makian. Deli no kunda kiashta. Rei zambo ok un gezanti arasht. Lora Okomakian, Dare Estendo Orakian, Bo Una Sende Elea, Ru Una Shende Estendo, Alda Kavrikin Eshendo Oratema, Zendo Okosian, Ara Okotia, Zendo Okun, Jeborok Naste Estendu, Ro Unast. And deep breath in. And bring that energy up and through your root chakra, your sacral, your solar plexus, your heart, your throat, your third eye, down the dreams of the back of the head, up and out the crown chakra, doubling back into the fourth eye where your head was soft when you were a baby, beaming down into the pineal gland, all the way down the shushana. Wow. <laughs> Activating the eight cell blueprint at the perineum. And take deep okay. breaths in. <laughs> All right. And there you go. So just wow. take some deep breaths in. All right. Okay, perfect. All right. So um so just allow for that energy to flow and it may take about two hours for that to fully integrate. And I would really recommend you uh, going to a very secluded place and screening because right. you really need to uh, you really need to get that uh, throat chakra energy of yeah. uh, flowing before this activation comes in uh, because if uh, if you don't wait uh, or if you don't go ahead and open it before this activation uh, fully integrates. Um, that's where the uh, that's where the sporadic energy could come out at, and you mm-hmm. could uh, literally open up your mouth and uh, kind of <laughs> insert your foot 
instead of okay. actually allow for <laughs> words to come out. So, uh, okay. yeah, get that energy moving. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. <laughs> you are very welcome, dear. All right. You are very Thanks. welcome. Most definitely. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, so folks, this is our last phone caller for the night, and uh, area code 410. Hi, Brian. This is Janet. Hey, Janet. How are you? I'm well. It's nice to talk to you again. I'm wondering what blend of um, herbs to use for teas or bathing that would bring about one's power, particularly my power. Okay, so you want to do a psychic replenishing bath, okay? Um, okay. Uh, the psychic replenishing bath will replenish uh, your auric field. It will also, uh, it will also um, kind of close up any holes that are within your auric field that uh, have... Um, that are coming from leeching people or folks that are uh, corded to your energy and um, and you not knowing about it. What that uh, what the uh, these particular ingredients will do is they will actually dissolve the cord, send that cord back to uh, sender, and they will also heal up that hole and. Uh, this will allow for you to enhance uh, your gifts as well as also um, uh, enhance the auric field around you. So your ingredients are lemon balm, rosemary, and basil. I like to use purple basil since uh, purple is um, that uh, since purple coincides with the uh, with the third eye or the crown chakra. I like to use purple basil, but you can use green basil uh, if you like. But uh, the ingredients, again, are lemon balm, rosemary, and basil. All right. And you take a handful of lemon balm, a handful of, ra- uh, a handful of rosemary, and a handful of basil. Okay. All right, and how and, I like and to, make a um, tea. Oh, okay, go ahead. I'm yes, sorry. how I like to um how I like to make it is I like to put on the kettle, put on the kettle, let the kettle boil, let the kettle whistle. Uh, I love a uh, a whistle of a kettle, um, so I let that uh, kettle whistle for a little bit, um, and. I put the handful of rosemary, handful of basil, handful of lemon balm in a bowl, and I pour about 32 ounces of uh, of hot boiling water on um, on the mix or the mix of herbs. And I like to use fresh herbs when I'm making a bath. Uh, so you pour that in there. And uh, basically what you can do is you can let it steep for 15 minutes. And then you can uh, take you a strainer and you will, you will want to pour uh, the uh, bowl uh, or the bowl of water. Um, well, pour the, put the strainer over your bathtub and then pour the uh, water, into, or water into the strainer and let it, uh, let it, dump in your bathtub and then fill the rest up with water and I would say probably about a half uh, uh, half a tub of uh, water uh, to whatever uh, in the bowl um, and I will tell you I do not put the uh, mixture of herbs in uh, in the bath water with me because you don't want that stuff going down your drain because uh, it's mm-hmm. hell getting it and getting it out and uh, uh, hiring a plumber is pretty expensive, and you don't want that shit getting stuck in your um, drain. Um, another, um, and I usually stay in the bathtub for probably about 30, maybe 33 minutes. Another um, uh, very effective bath uh, bath is, is high sop. 
You can take your high top bath and uh, you can pray Psalm 51. And what this does is this, uh, this literally erases your aura and uh, it makes your aura pure white frequency light. All right. It literally makes your whole entire aura uh, white as uh, white as bright white shining light. Hmm. Okay. Now you said Psalm five one. Yes, Psalm five one. Yes, fifty one, and I usually read the whole psalm and. and then I'll pray the Lord's Prayer after it uh, once, maybe twice, maybe three times. Um, and if you're Catholic, pray uh, pray um, Hail Marys uh, right after the Lord's Prayer. Um, and if you're not Catholic, just stick with the Lord's Prayer. And if you're uh, if you're not strictly Christian, don't even use the Lord's Prayer. Uh, just read uh, Psalm 51, and uh, that will be suffice. Um, but yeah, use them to baths and see how it works for you. Excellent. Thank you so much. Very you nice are very welcome. You. Very nice to talk to you, and I look forward to speaking with you soon. And you will. Okay. Thank you. Wonderful. Bye. Okay, my folks, we are coming to the end of the Magical Journey show. Uh, so I'm going to give my um, um, my contact information uh, one last time, and then I will tell you all to join me here next time. So my contact information is office number 586-659-9620. Website, www.amagicaljourney.com. That is A-M-A-G-I-C-K-A-L-J-O-U-R-N-E-Y.com. Blog is www.brianrawls.com. That is B-R-Y-A-N-R-A-W-L-S. Email address is angelicguidance13 at gmail.com. And you can catch me here next week at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on May 31st. And thank you for joining me this evening. This is your host, Reverend Brian Rawls, with A Magical Journey. Much love to you all. Let angel wings guide your dreams. Blessed be and namaste. Attention outlet shoppers. Right now, save 50 to 70% off everything for the family at Gap Factory Stores and Online. With shorts from $14.99 and tees from $6.99. And save 50 to 70% off everything at Banana Republic Factory Stores and Online. With an extra 50% off clearance and dresses for women starting at $19.99. Hurry! Search our store locator for your nearest Gap Factory and Banana Republic Factory Store or shop us online. Attention outlet shoppers. Right now, save 50 to 70% off everything for the family at Gap Factory Stores and Online. With shorts from $14.99 and tees from $6.99. And save 50 to 70% off everything at Banana Republic Factory Stores and Online. With an extra 50% off clearance and dresses for women starting at $19.99. Hurry! Search our store locator for your nearest Gap Factory and Banana Republic Factory Store or shop us online.